Supreme Bacon Overlord here. This is just a random video where I'll talk about yet another mysterious headset. The Visor by Immersed. I don't normally talk about headsets in general, but I mostly use the Quest Pro and the Vive XR Elite to play games and work out. And it feels like both of these headsets are on their way out. HTC will have an official announcement of a new headset later this month even though they have been uh, heavily advertising the XR Elite with their like $200 off campaign. I've seen it all over Facebook and Instagram. It's kind of annoying but in reality they're a business and they have to make money in order to survive so I completely understand. And it feels like sometime in the near future, Meta will stop porting Quest 2 and Quest Pro. And Quest Pro is the headset I use the most. For this reason, I have been looking into buying a new headset. I do have a Quest 3 and it's good, but it's not suited for VR workouts, at least for me. I'll explain that in a later video. So Immersed makes software that is similar to virtual desktop but mostly for productivity purposes so like doing work on your PC and maybe watching a movie here and there but it's mostly for working on your PC and media consumption Immersed is a well-known company but to my knowledge this is their first headset the Immersed visor is a sleek high performance VR headset. It's lightweight, slightly weighs more than sunglasses, making it ideal for long sessions. You can connect it to your PC and use it as a computer monitor and even have multiple monitors for that matter. It will not ship with controllers but has hand tracking and will also have eye tracking. It will be XR compatible so the community can probably step in and somehow add controller support. So that part is good as well. So generally speaking, this headset is suitable for digital nomads. You know, those people that travel and work on their computer non-stop while on the go and that think they are the coolest people on the planet because of it. Maybe since it's open XR, we'll see an app like ALVR support it perhaps even virtual desktop will you know allow you to connect to steam vr and play games on it immerse said they will leave it open for developers so that in itself is good news the battery life will be three hours and the battery will be a separate charging brick similar to the apple vision pro but it also has a usb-c port so you can charge it and go on a massive netflix binge fest they don't mention specs all that much on their website, but they claim the resolution and pixels per inch will be better than anything out there, including the Apple Vision Pro. 4K micro OLED per eye, FOV will be 100 degrees, but they might stretch that out a little, or they'll at least try. But it will be standalone and you will be able to hook it up to your PC or a Mac. It will also come with a strap, but you can go strapless if you wish. Um, I hope that didn't sound dirty. With the Immersed app, if you use the free version, you can have up to three monitors simultaneously on your screen, five monitors if you go for the monthly subscription. No word on hard drive space, but hoping it's at least 128 gigabytes. It will also have pass-through so you can probably um, use mixed reality with this headset. As I mentioned, you can connect it to a Mac and the PC. But what I forgot to mention is that you can even connect it to Linux computers or Linux. I don't really know how to pronounce it. So I apologize if I offended anybody. So as far as cons go, there is no app store. It looks like it will only have the Immersed app pre-installed, but not sure what else. Perhaps maybe a browser to browse the internet in standalone mode and some sort of a media player to watch movies. You can't use glasses but maybe prescription lenses will become available later on by some third party company that is possible. No controllers. It will not have any controllers. So you got to rely on 
hand tracking and maybe they'll use eye tracking as well to navigate the menus within the OS. I'm not sure if it's Android based. They don't mention anything about the OS that's built into the glasses on their website or in any other channel. So generally speaking, this is like a pair of AR glasses, but on steroids. The pricing is a little unclear, to be quite honest, and has changed over time. When the headset was first announced, probably like 11 or 12 months ago, the price was uh, going to be $749. But now, on the website, if you pre-order it, they have it at $399.99. But with a 24 month subscription of $39.99 per month. Uh, if you pay the full $1,049.99, you can buy the headset straight out, no subscription needed, and you'll still have access to the free version of the Immersed app. It's a bit confusing though. If you look at the website, however, and you pre-order, it says uh, if you pay the $1,049.99, you have to get a one year subscription. So that's a bit confusing and it doesn't list how much you'll be paying per month if you decide to go with that one year subscription. Maybe it's the regular price that they would charge you like say if you use the Quest version of the app and you decide to go for the subscription model. I'm not sure though. I just want to buy the headset and use the free app. That's it. I'll figure the rest out later. So yeah, I would buy it for that price. I'm sure it will be comfortable to wear and if wearing the headset for long periods doesn't hurt my eyes, for sure I will replace them with my uh, monitors or at least one of them to free up some space. Also, if someone manages to get workout apps or games to work with this headset, that would be awesome. The fact that it's super light is a big plus. That's just a thought but still hoping someone steps up to the plate. Obviously, this headset will have to sell for anyone to even take notice. So I hope they succeed. We'll find out September 19th, which is just around the corner. So the big mystery surrounding this headset is that nobody has seen it. I don't think anyone has seen it on display or tried it out as well. So potentially, this can be another Deca gear or it can become a reality. From what I read and what I've seen on YouTube, they are selling these headsets at a loss. So that's the main reason they're adding or they're tacking on the monthly subscription rates. Since they won't have an app store, uh, they can't make their money back on games like Quest does. It's similar to the Big Screen Beyond. The makers of Big Screen came out with their own headset. So this is possible and um, the, they're going to let a few people try out the headset. Uh, we'll have answers. We'll have some sort of answers on or after uh, September 19th. One thing they mentioned is that they will require a face scan in order to um, properly fit the headset to your head, which is odd because it's a pair of sunglasses. Uh, I'm just hoping that it doesn't press against your face. I wish they would have uh, came out with an overhead strap, not just a strap for the back of your head. For the big screen beyond the headset, they did the same thing. They required a face scan, but there was some people that said that it was still not very comfortable and that it would press against your face a little too much. So that part concerns me a little bit. So if everything falls into place, would I buy this headset? I'm not sure to be quite honest. I'm not sure. I've also been looking at that Apple, that Chinese headset uh, from my previous video. I've also been eyeballing the Pico 4 Ultra, but don't think that it will ever come to the US. Then there's uh, HTC's new headset that they'll be announcing later on this month. I don't remember the date off, straight off of my head. That's another one. Uh, one thing's for sure, I do want a lighter headset. For sure, for sure, for sure. So yeah, definitely right now things are going good in the VR world. And as we get closer to the end of the year, things will only get better. I'm excited. <music>